Well, we all know that the internet can be a very tricky place these days with thieves hiding behind a computer screen trying to get your information. It's part of what's called social engineering. And joining us this morning is Tulane professor Dr. William Riles. And first of all, explain what exactly that is. Sure. Social engineering is basically the art of manipulation. Cyber criminals try to persuade their victims in giving up information. Information such as their social security numbers, bank account, credit card information, or even passwords. And how do you know that you're, you're falling victim to this? What are some of the telltale signs? Well, you know, social engineering, you know, criminals, they, they all kind of sound the same. They have, have a, a, a series of pattern. You know, they can pretend to be your doctor, you know, a, a health care provider, or even a friend, but they all ask for the same thing. One of the telltale signs is you've got to act now. It must be immediate, okay? So if they, if they say you've got to pay these taxes right now before a arrest warrant comes out, or if they're trying to sell a good or service and it sounds too good to be true and you've got to act on it right now, that's usually a telltale sign. The old saying is true. You know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And also, if they ask for critical information, if they, ask over the, if they call you up and say, hey, I really need your social security number, I really need your, your password, or I need your account number, that's typically a sign that it's probably a social engineering scam. Now, what do you do if you think that you are being scammed or if you think that you've got a loved one um, who, who's being scammed? A lot of times senior citizens, they fall into that, that realm. 30% of them are becoming victims these days. Yeah, that's right. That's an interesting um, figure that... They, they account for 12% of our population, but account for 30% of the social engineering victims. Well, that's this generation, they grew up with long hours, hard work, and a handshake as a sign of trust. But our social engineering criminals use that as, as against them. So what, you know, they contact them either by phone or by email. And typically, elderly is more so by phone calls. So the best advice, if you don't know the business or the company, simply don't do business with them. Just don't answer the phone, or if you do answer the phone, hang up. But if it is someone that you know or you think you know, if it's your, a company you've done business with, your health care provider or, or your bank, it's best to hang up that phone politely, of course, and then call back to a number you know. A good example would be your credit card company calls and asks for some information. You know, it's best to end that conversation, take out your credit card, call the number on the back, then you know you're dealing with, with the correct third party. All right, Dr. Riles, thank you so much for joining us. Great information. We really appreciate it.